We live in a society steeped in disconnection. From the bustling, hectic lifestyles we lead, to the plastic-wrapped vegetables from other countries that we buy at the grocery store, to the feedlots and mass agriculture that produce so much of our sustenance, to the technology we have created in order to connect us, to the degradation of the earth for profit, we are disconnected from the natural cycles of our world. How do we connect to the self, nature, and each other? If I think about um, the, the moments where I experience really heightened connection, there's like a recipe. I am in wildlands of some sort where the greater, uh, more than human world is, is present. And I'm with, with my people, with people that I have high resonance with, uh, or that, yeah, you know, that are with good friends. Most of our ancestors lived in that way, in settings where there would have been, we would have been outside in some sort of village setting, surrounded by people of many different generations, just doing the basics of living. And those are the skills that I, I think really bring me into connection, are what I call like the hand skills of living in the bush, of, um, knowing how of harvesting plants um, or of tanning hides, uh, of crafting things with my hands, but not doing it alone, doing it surrounded by people. I really love that. My first thought around what connection means to me um, is that truly it symbolizes life and the very purpose that we're here. Like, you know, we wouldn't be alive without our connection to each other, our mothers, to um, the more than human world, um, to our own gifts, to our voice and, um, and our bodies and um, it is what makes up this very unique experience of being human. The, the opposite of connection is also our greatest wound in the world, separateness and disconnection. And so um, in a way, I guess it means health, healing and joy. We are connected and depending on so many things, we need the air to breathe, so we are connected to the air. We need the light of the sun, we need the water, so we are connected to them. We are made of them. Connection for me is three-tiered, connection to self, connection to others, and connection to nature. Connection to self is really about the process of self-discovery and asking who am I and moving closer to authenticity and shedding away the different stories and conditioning that each individual has. I find the things that connect me are like pretty interwoven. Like the biggest thing I find is that I'm most connected to the land and I'm most connected to community or other people when I'm connected with myself first. And so I connect with myself through largely daily practices and rituals. I find that when I am in nature and when I'm with other people and they're also wanting to connect with nature, it's like this amplifier, which is really exciting because then we just become, it becomes this like spiraling upwards thing of connection. when I'm deeply in touch with my, uh, my own self, I'm in touch with my intuition, um, that feels connective. I feel connected to myself when I write poetry. And making art, these are all ways that I connect to myself. Connection to others 
is the process of connecting deeply to other people. So again, not from that place of ego in the superficial level, but deepening into a shared felt experience. What brings me joy and a feeling of real health is connection to people. And, and that can be anyone, whether it's someone I barely know, whether it's someone that's giving me a hard time, or whether it's someone I deeply love. Learning from each other in that way and building relationship, building family, building friendships, um, and having these deep experiences that we get to carry with us um, and gift to our children and our families and, as we progress through life. Burn, fire, burn, stoke your inner fire, let the coal inside your eyes blow that flame to life. Burn, fire, burn, stoke your inner fire, let the coal inside your eyes blow that flame to life. And then connection to nature is kind of similar in the way that there is an energy that's held by nature. There's an energy that's held by the plants and the trees and the sun and the land and the animals. And if we're able to step beyond our thinking rational mind, we can feel that vibration as well. You know, it doesn't it doesn't take much. It can take just me lifting my eyes to the trees or listening to the wind or taking my shoes off and putting them on the grass or the ground and like that brings me um, a joy that I know is both spiritual, emotional and biological. Like it, it, it is literally an effect on our physiology when we're connecting with nature. If we began to understand that we are connected to all the things that make us who we are, we can understand the importance of to be connected. And that's really important to have that experience of connection because then we're inspired to take care of these wild places. And as we connect to others, we're inspired to care for them and have compassion and be mindful of their experience. And similarly, as we connect with ourselves and recognize that we're greater than we think we are. We're more than just our individual person. We are something that exists way beyond that. Across the stone, it's the same sound as the blood in your body as it moves across your body.